Patrick Harvey. I'm, I'm very grateful to the member for giving way, and I think he knows that we share a lot of intent here about the need to raise revenue to invest in public services and protect them from the cuts. But why should that be focused on the basic rate? Can the Labour Party explain why low and middle income earners should be asked to pay more tax rather than those who can genuinely afford to pay? Alex Rowley. We will come on to that point and I better make progress. His answer on this today and, and, and the point that, that Patrick Harvey makes is that he will not increase tax for lower paid workers. So let us be open and honest about what this proposal would mean for people on different salaries. If you earn below 21,000, you don't pay more. If you are on the median salary of £28,000, you have been asked to pay just over £1 more a week, an extra £65 a year. A police sergeant on £41,000 has been asked to pay an extra £203 a year. An MSP in this place on £61,000 would pay an extra £526 a year. And the First Minister, on a salary of £151,000, would be asked to pay an extra £1,786. So to the point that Patrick Harvey makes, it would be the collective power of all those individuals paying a little bit more according to their means that would pay for the much needed investment in education and home care and in the future of our country. None of us know what the future holds and what support we or our families will need in the years to come. We, this generation, have the chance to shape the provision and future of care services. We have the chance to give young people a better future. Lack of educational achievement, lack of care services, lack of investment for the future. Is that really the price we are all willing to pay to avoid a small increase in income tax? I say to you, let us have that discussion. Let us have that debate and let us talk about the kind of society that we want, the kind of public services that we want and the kind of Scotland that we all want to live in. I move the motion.